But remember, Elliot said that every layer in the organization had to be healthy and robust. So what is it that each brings to the table? We're going to start with stratum one. And what's the role of stratum one? And now there's no help on the screen. What's the role of stratum one? Those are the people that do what? <laughs> Primary value added at stratum one is quality. Now we may think our quality initiatives are created at stratums three or four, but for them to become visible to our customers, we've got to drive them all the way down to stratum one because it's those people who come to work every day, they're the ones who get to decide if today's product or service is going to be of high quality or poor quality. Stratum two, what's the role of stratum two? Those are the people who do what? You make sure production gets done. Now the value added stratum two is now accuracy completeness and timeliness. It is the role of stratum two to make sure the entire project gets done, not just 95 percent of it, that there's no gaps in service along the way, and that at the end of the day we've met our customer specifications and deadlines. Stratum three, what's the role of stratum three? Those are the people that create what? Now value added stratum three is now consistency and predictability. How many of you have a price list or price schedule that you give to your customers so they know what they have to pay for your product or service? Or you have an estimating methodology, so your customer gives you a set of specifications, you run it through your estimating system so that you know what they're going to have to pay for your product or service. Now in that price list or price schedule or your estimating system, have you made a provision for something called profit? Please say yes. Now, Based on your business model, your profit percentage may be different. It may be 2%, 5%, 10%, maybe 35%, depending on your business model. And whatever your profit percentage is that you plug in at the beginning of the year to your revenue budget forecasting system is the same profit percentage that you report at the end of the year on your tax return. Is that correct, right, Kevin? You're not looking real happy about that. Uh, I actually have a lot of clients who call me and they say, uh, Tom, can you come and help us? It seems we're having some, some profitability issues. Uh, we're seeing some profit erosion. Uh, we're not sure exactly what happened. The, the project was going along. We're 90% through the project. Everything is right on track. Everything is on budget. But that last 10%, all of a sudden there's profit fade. Can you help us? Say, so, yeah, I think I can help you. I just need to see your organizational chart. What stratum number am I looking for on the organizational chart? Good response. What lives in stratum three? Systems. What do systems bring? Predictability. If what you plug into your revenue budget forecasting system at the beginning of the year turns out to be something different at the end of the year, something's broken in your system. And after a couple of decades of trying to figure out what's broken in systems, going out looking for what's the problem, one of the things I've come to realize is most of the time the problem is not a what. Most of the time it turns out that the problem is a who. That's why I want to see the organizational chart. I want to see who is in charge of your systems. Now what we've been talking about so far are the bottom three layers in the organization. Elliot describes these bottom three layers as the basic building block. No matter how large your organization gets, 300 people, 500 people, 1,000 people, 3,000 people, it's going to be populated by these basic building blocks all over the place. But here's an interesting question. What's the focus of this basic building block, internal or external? Remember, we have people who are doing production, people who are making sure production gets done inside of a system in which production is done. What's the focus, internal or external? very much an internal focus. Why? Well, because we told them they had to be internally focused. We told them they had to be profitable. We told them they had to be efficient. No waste, no scrap. We told them that they had to be internally focused. 